Now, over the last few months, we've been following the diving journey of Mohammed Salim Patel and Sean Gash. Salim, uh, Mohammed Salim Patel is a BBC journalist. He's blind. Uh, wheelchair user Sean, uh, and the, between them, they're in training to become the world's first disabled deep sea diving duo. We've seen them practicing in a pool, even in a quarry. Tonight, though, it's their first dive in the open sea, and we're heading back up to Barrow again because that's where they did it, just off the coast. Today's the big day, getting into the sea for the first time, experiencing the salt water. So this is what all the training's been building up to, all that time learning the theory, the practice in the pool, in the quarries, all that strength and conditioning. Really excited. Everybody's got their roles, um, ready to rock and wheel. How are you feeling? Um, I'm quite nervous actually. It's still, you know, you're going into the sea, it's an unknown. And you've got the current and other things to consider. All the, the negative obstacles that have come our way in regards um, not taking on two individuals with disabilities, like different disabilities. Like everybody said, yeah, well, we've done one and we've done the other, but nobody's ever taken two. Two together. And that's the whole idea with this. The journey is so that we can all be inclusive. I know you can't see it, Salim, at the moment, but the tide is flooding in. High tide is just before two o'clock, so we intend to get in there or thereabouts at two o'clock. Easy. 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 Come through, mate. Yeah, sure. Let's go. Here we go. Three, two, one, jump. Three, go. We were down there for 40 minutes, experiencing what it's like to be in salt water, being together with Sean and the team. Did you see the crab that was underneath yeah, you? Yeah, I put it in his hand. <laughs> there was a crab underneath I you, mate. It. Oh, what an experience that was. To just be at the sea. The sounds underneath there were just something different. I don't think anything could beat that. It was awesome. Like I said, I, I can't get over that crab. I'm crawling right underneath it. Right underneath it. I felt short underwater as well because uh, he came over to me and because he wears the webbed gloves, I felt a bit, I was like, ah, that's short. A first, mate, right? that's a first. Absolutely. It's nice to see you enjoying it, that's all that oh, matters, no, isn't no, it? I'm, I'm delighted. <laughs> that was that was phenomenal. <laughs> oh, man. Well done, my friend. You did it, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well done, man. All the way. Anti curly. <laughs> if it wasn't for you, bro, <laughs> this, none of this would have been possible. No. Z did perfect. It's I'm more than happy with that. And hopefully, before, we are ready for the next chapter. <laughs> What we've achieved today is just unreal. You've got a visually impaired guy, a paraplegic amputee, uh, down the depths, diving together, leading each other, supporting each other. To have that connection underwater, it's priceless. It's quite emotional, really, isn't it? But I'm not going to cry. It was pure elation, pure elation, because it's been a tough journey. You know, those emotions from when people were knocking us back and saying, you can't do this and you can't do that. Today was about proving them wrong and also about showing everybody else out there that you can take up diving. That's fantastic, isn't it? Uh, well done to Sean and uh, Salim. Uh, that's their, their dive in the murky depths just off the uh, coast at Barrow. Uh, I think they're going to Egypt for the real deep sea dive, uh, where the conditions, I suspect, will be uh, a good deal better. Um